ओके ठीक है ठीक है श्योर आई थिंक यू लाइव या गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल आदाब एंड हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज जितेंद्र एंड टूडे अगेन एट बिट्स एंड बेंटर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट येट अन दर गेम ऑफ आई पी एल एंड दिस टाइम इट इज पंजाब किंग्स वर्सेज डेली कैपिटल सो बिफोर वी गेट गोइंग लेट मी जस्ट रिकेप दी मैथ स्कोर लाइन पंजाब किंग्स स्कोर वन नाइनटी फाइव इन दर्स एंड डेली कैपिटल चेज इट यू नो विदन ऑलमोस्ट एन एन ओवर एंड हाफ इन स्पेयर एंड दे वॉन्ट द गेम so uh, we have uh, bala kumar with us and uh, we'll let, let us uh, discuss the game today uh, good, good morning, morning bala how are you yeah good morning jitan i am fine so how, how how do you think the game went yesterday bala see it's pretty e- easy to say that uh, punjab kings bowlers lost it but for me the, it's mm-hmm. actually the punjab kings batsmen who kind of lost it after scoring around uh, 120 plus uh, in the first 12 overs Uh, exactly. without uh, without losing any wicket from then on not mm-hmm. to have scored 200 was a cardinal error is criminal exactly and they ca- i mean that kind of a situation they need an explosive batsman they needed to have sent in deepak hooda after the fall of the first wicket instead they stuck to their original plan of uh, gail who uh, doesn't seem mm-hmm. to be in the prime of form so that kind of pull them back and uh, unfortunately for them kl rahul is also i mean we saw that all through of uh, IPL mm-hmm. 2020 where his innings exactly. in terms of runners runs were, were pretty good but in terms of striking uh, in terms of strike rate it was pretty average so it was one of mm-hmm. those things gail and rahul kind of pulled them back and it was eventually le- left to deepak hooda and sharuk khan to bring the late impetus but by then it was too late isn't it it was too late exactly yeah but 195 and 200 is just about a uh, matter of five runs Uh, but i think it's more about uh, the mental pressure that it puts it that okay the team has, has scored 200 runs so we need to score at 10 runs uh, per over from the uh, from the ball one so that that i think is the case but then yeah i think uh, they should have uh, scored over 2 2 2 2 5 or 2 10 2 uh, 10 yeah on, because you are right exactly. uh, jitendra you said, said it precisely mm-hmm. 200 is a very psychological threshold i mean not that exactly. this punjab well, uh, team has been capable of uh, defending 200 score but 200 does mm-hmm. kind of a um, Psychological thresholds, and once you get that, the the momentum is with you. They kind of exactly. lost the momentum from say around thirteenth and to seventeenth overs, so even eighteenth over. It's only in the last couple of overs that Huda and uh, Shahrukh Khan they kind of see Gail exactly. is not getting going, and Puran. I mean, I wouldn't blame Puran last night. So I mean, mm-hmm. he scored a couple of uh, two consecutive backs in the first match. But by the end, around 18, 19 over, just flail your bat and hope it connects. But unfortunately for Puran, it, it didn't connect to, for a six. It went to the straight to the field. It's one of those things that happens. But my problem was with Gail because Gail, as we were discussing on our WhatsApp uh, mm-hmm. chat, Gail had only one six, and even that was off a free hit, off a no ball. Free so hit, otherwise, right. he didn't have any great, anything great. And it was, I mean, even without him on the field, it was pretty evident that mm-hmm. he was not going to give you that. push the much needed push somebody like kuda who is mm-hmm. who seems to be in great uh, great nick so kuda puran mm-hmm. and uh, sharuk should have been the lineup but instead when you uh, send in uh, gail along with the rahul who is not great mm-hmm. when it comes to consolidating i mean taking off from having a good start so that's where mm-hmm. punjab missed a trick but this is so, from purely from a punjab point of view but i would like to hear from you from where mm-hmm. delhi actually won because you have been following delhi pretty closely and this is also a match that because delhi they successfully chased 188 against csk and this is another <laughs> good chase they pulled it off very i mean very nicely so what is it what exactly. is working for delhi jitendra i think you know there is they either have uh, you know kind of got uh, the the, uh, the formula right wherein you know one player uh, who so sticks sticks with the uh, you know and then plays till the end like this game they had uh, shikhar dhawan even previous game as well both uh, when when prithvish and shikhar devan uh, went going uh, in the, the game that you're talking about True. they went all all guns blazing so this time as well they they were really attacking at both the ends but the moment uh, prithvish as well fell down shikhar devan said okay i'll i'll continue and uh, we'll see how it goes so even you know when you're scoring that kind of a uh, score when you're trying to chase that kind of a score you have to have one player uh, you know holding on the on to one end and uh, and that not not just holding on to the end he has to score as well so we he scored he fell uh, an eight shot of a century which is again you know uh, a great score and 92 in a test match on a uh, on a chasing side it was it was uh, it was uh, amazing batting and then you know in the end uh, 
apart from Marcus Stoyne, is what I really liked was Lalit Yadav's hitting. He exactly. swept uh, a fast bowler, uh, which was, you know, from the ball when he tried to sweep, yeah, exactly. uh, tried sweeping, and uh, he, he failed to connect in second ball again. He, he tried the same thing and he connected. That is, that is the kind of confidence that you're looking at in the game. That's stuff. a so, good point because Simon is, Dole on air was kind of criticizing him, but uh, Yadav just backed his in instincts and went for it. You're right. You're right about that. When you have when you have overs left and uh, Marcus Stone is at the other end, so uh, why not take a pressure from uh, on on uh, from Marcus Stone and you know probably yeah, score exactly. one or two more boundaries. A, that's as an youngster, you need to back your instincts. And uh, I mean, at the end of the day, you Delhi score, chased one ninety plus with eight balls to spare, which is pretty good. No, exactly. Exactly. But, uh, Jitendra, I was reading a stat. I was reading a stat on Group <laughs> Info, which which is pretty illuminating. <laughs> you talked of Shikhar Dhawan. Shikhar Dhawan. <laughs> April 12, 2019, has scored 70,773 runs, which is the highest by any cricketer. And what is more impressive is the high average at 45.11, which I mean, and the strike rate of 147 plus. I mean, this is the that highest, is this is higher than David Warner or Virat Kohli, and uh, only mm -hmm. De Villiers has a better strike rate. So, Dhawan has been in a great, in great form and in, seems to be in great uh, T20 nick, isn't it? But then, and then I'll add to I'll add another uh, you know, part to the story. And he's not the by default opener in the Indian. Uh, you know, now he's not the, a by, Indian by opener yeah, in the exactly. Indian, uh, Indian team. So that that is that shows that there's something uh, you know not going right for the team. But then that that's another story. We can discuss that later on. Yeah, exactly. I want to I want to you know uh, ask you one specific thing about uh, you know the uh, Punjab team. How, how what kind of a change do you want to do, do now? Do you want to bring Gale up or re replace Gale and get some some other other player? I would As just play. Replace, I mean, uh, that's Gale a good question Rahul. to ask because <laughs> since we have been critical of Gale, I mean, but <laughs> let's also face it, he is a certified T20 legend and a certified IPL legend. Exactly. But uh, exactly, I would. I mean, in a, ideally speaking, I would persist him with for a, one more match. See him how, especially. <laughs> If he in a better situation, how he coats up, if he can find his batting exactly. mojo, I'd stick with him. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I would be, I wouldn't hesitate to drop him. I, I think uh, that has been the formula with uh, with Punjab. As, as in that's how they have treated him last a uh, couple of occasions. They played him in three four games, drop um, you know, then matched him, then again brought him uh, in case they need some more fire. Perhaps power. you have to so, play around with his ego or something. I don't know. I really don't. Know <laughs> if that is what is what the case is. But there is also another area of worry for Punjab because bowling, both these foreign imports, exactly. yeah, costly mm -hmm. imports, uh, Jai Richardson and uh, Riley Meredith, they have not been delivering what they were expected to. That's uh, certainly a certain cause for worry because exactly. all these three matches. So are, was, mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. I was just adding to uh, some stat to that, uh, to what you're saying. Six overs, 75 runs, 6.2 overs, 75 runs, which is. Uh, way, way too many. Uh, for, way too for, many. You know, international See, uh, having an half day like uh, Shami did yesterday. Shami also went for <laughs> 53 in his four overs. 20, because, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. he was costly and he was ne never in the game, which is understandable. Every bowler goes through that. But Shami had a exactly. terrific uh, uh, match against CSK. <laughs> exactly. which, was, which was not the case with Meredith or uh, Richard. Rich. All three matches, they've been just about average. So that's certainly a cause for <laughs> worry because they are supposed to be your uh, bowling... Uh, Spearheads. Uh, friend, friend trainers. Yeah, so if they are not exactly. going to deliver, because I was happy Punjab kind of made the change with Jalat Saxena replacing Murgan mm -hmm. Ashwin. Murgan Ashwin, mm -hmm. in the first two matches, he was not very impressive. So it was the right call, especially since uh, there was a talk of Hetmeyer being, being in the 11. So two left handers, Pant and Hetmeyer, an house spinner in the form of Jalat Saxena, was the right call. Mm -hmm. And yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, he, though he didn't set the ground alike, but it was not a bad debut in the sense. So it was kind of okay. They, they got Jalat Saxena, right? But they need to find out. Mm -hmm. They need to get somehow get uh, apart from Gale in batting. They need to get these two bowlers firing, isn't it? And, and uh, I think there is there is there is one more bowler missing, which is uh, uh, Ravi Bishnoi. I think you know yes. he he is more like uh, you know Rashid Khan, uh, the, the kind of space he bowls at. So, yeah. It's surprising to see that he's not uh, a part of the you exactly. know, uh, starting uh, 11. Our colleague, Ra I mean, Raj. Raj, Raj, Raj exactly. Keeps asking, that is yes. Raj, Ravi Bishna. That is Ravi Bishna. <laughs> Ravi Bishna. Because Ravi Bishna had a terrific 2020 season last Precisely. year. Last season. So, it's kind of surprising mm -hmm. that he's not. I mean, I really don't know what is the case with him. Because I don't know how he is bowling in the nets. Because that's, 
you never know these with these things but uh, another player i would like to see at least in, um, uh, in punjab colors is uh, ishan parel he never gets a ball you know he is he, con- he continues to be benched that is mm. kind of uh, surprising but away from punjab precisely yeah away from mm-hmm. punjab how, what do you think of uh, look uh, we had a first look of nirivala uh, in ipl so uh, mm-hmm. his debut he was mighty impressive for baroda uh, all through the last season but uh, mm-hmm. how do you, i mean he was he had a nervy debut so what you exactly. were so initially him? he went for he initially went for runs but then he came came back good so i think it will take one or two odd games to for us to be able to uh, kind of you know assess his performance but then you know he he came back uh, good which which shows that he has those nerves that uh, that mind there to you know kind of control uh, the the uh, the game yeah. so that is good and another two 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 more uh, young rookie bowlers which are like avesh khan and arshdeep singh so exactly these guys continue continue to impress uh, arshdeep singh doesn't look like a, you know half a spinner as well but then he <laughs> bowls really good uh, medium pace bowls bowl uh, you know delivery so that that is impressive actually that's a good point uh, jitendra because mm-hmm. indian uh, i mean this season indian medium mm-hmm. bases like uh, you talked of arshdeep avesh khan there is also harshal patel yeah, quite, exactly, i mean yeah. see all through ipl seasons we have had foreigners mm-hmm. coming foreign bowlers coming to the fore but this is the season where indian medium bases they are coming to the exactly. fore which is pretty good for the uh, overall indian setup time, yeah. which is mm-hmm. uh, pretty good i mean look man meriwala I mean, you as you rightly pointed out he had a nervy start the first over went for mm-hmm. 20 he had a no ball he had a, i mean he mm-hmm. boy, there was a catch drop everything happened in those first over exactly but he, uh, while fielding also he let uh, slip a boundary that was uh, mm-hmm. one of those things because you there will be butterflies in your stomach when you are playing at the big stage but as you said uh, he is a good talent though he's 30 around 30 mm-hmm. or 31 something but uh, he should mm-hmm. be good so overall punjab is uh, i mean delhi it has the team and it, mm-hmm. it produces the goods but punjab has a lot of the, it has to go back to the drawing board and sort things out but uh, exactly. i guess uh, at at 195 you you don't really you can't you don't really uh, lose too many matches but then they they are losing so uh, which is which is uh, kind of you know uh, disturbing uh, disturbing stat for any team exactly and uh, before we wind up your thoughts on tonight's match uh, csk versus I mean, my team versus your team, Raj, Chitendra, <laughs> Chennai and Rajasthan. <laughs> this, this, this should be fun, as in you know, this, this would I think uh, set the social media uh, ablaze, you know, because uh, both the teams have uh, good uh, social media presence there, and exactly. it, it is, it is interesting to have uh, that kind of uh, you know, in uh, stuff going on. But then, uh, what I feel again today is. Uh, It, it it should be a high scoring match i i really want it to be a high scoring match rather than just you know 120 30 kind of a thing so let let's hope that it's uh, good and and one one player that i actually want to come back from yesterday's game i know i want your thoughts uh, if we can uh, you know if time allows is, is prithvi shaw yeah Th- prithvi shaw mm-hmm. yeah prithvi shaw uh, he had a very good game against csk but against rr he <laughs> perished again perished but he yesterday even the short time he kind of looked good there were a couple of good big hits so he is there exactly. or there about and another one mm-hmm. big innings he i think mm-hmm. he'll certainly come back see the much of the problem see technical deficiency is always that you work around mm-hmm. in your mind all those technical deficiency even as you sort it out at the ground level mm-hmm. a lot of things is mm-hmm. actually sorted out at your head and that's where exactly. prithvisha's biggest battle lies and that's where mm-hmm. this youngster the youngster's real challenges but i guess he will come through because mm-hmm. mumbai players eventually they are mentally very strong ajitendra isn't it the kadus mumbai definitely <laughs> and uh, just so, so bad, who yeah. knows oh, sorry go ahead yeah so please please go ahead. please go ahead. no no just a final thought about uh, mm-hmm. chennai versus rajasthan because both of them are mm-hmm. coming off from a very very good victory chennai had a very uh-huh. good victory against punjab and rr had a very good victory i mean very uh, i mean real comeback from dead victory against exactly. uh, delhi so their confidence mm-hmm. levels will be up and both the teams are, i mean only one team can go out of this contest uh, <laughs> with a winner but uh, that will be very crucial for their entire uh, i mean form for the season. entire season mm-hmm. so this will be very crucial so both will exactly. be i mean but i guess uh, i mean i'm purely i might be partisan here csk looks more sorted than i mean in terms of lineup they have a more settled line than rr rr has a few questions to sort out 
especially <laughs> butler butler needs to butler, fire exactly isn't it so that, that's what i that's what I, i was also about to say you know that uh, your thoughts on on the uh, the team which looks look strong and uh, definitely you need the ha- a nail on the head i think it would be uh, you know uh, csk will start as a favorites uh, and let's see how how butler uh, sorts out his uh, uh, doubts and his uh, uh, demons in the head and uh, uh, hope for an interesting match today jitendra when you said uh, csk is the favorites i know as a rajasthan player i mean rajasthan <laughs> backer you are jinxing it i know i, I like it i like this <laughs> match jinx. and uh, i hope to cross swords with you on social media platforms and uh, on whatsapp too because we can continue that because you as a rajasthan backer and i as a chennai backer we'll go at each other yeah, ready for the fight definitely that's that's <laughs> that's that's the fun that's the, that's the fun that we get out of it <laughs> exactly <laughs> so so th- thanks a lot uh, everyone for joining us and uh, stay tuned for uh, today's game and uh, we'll see you back tomorrow morning thank you yeah thank you thank you jitendra <clears throat>